Uh, let me just say this about the uh, coronavirus. I'm so happy that I work by myself. <laughs> There's nobody else. It's just me and this pumping unit right here. Uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. All right, so today is uh, was an eventful day. Um, not for me, but for the world. And, uh, you know, well, first of all, this is... Uh, NCAA tournaments, uh, tournament games this year, and uh, uh, the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, has announced that this is a, now a pandemic in Italy that shut down the whole country. Uh, they said 200 people died in the last 24 hours, and uh, we just got to pray for those people, man. That, that's, that's basically all we got to do, man. I mean, all we can do is pray and fast and uh, for those people, man. And, uh, you know, I remember back at Texas Tech, I was at Texas Tech when, um, in 2001, when uh, September 11th happened. And uh, it, shook the, it shook the whole world up. It, it definitely shook the United States up. And, uh, I remember going into the meeting room. We had a team meeting because we didn't even know if we were going to play that weekend after this had happened. And uh, and we all upset. And Coach Leach, uh, who's at Mississippi State right now, he, he comes up in front of the, uh, the team and he says, you know, uh, you know, you can worry about a lot of things. You know, you can worry about your health. You can worry about the family. You can worry about this and that you can worry about what's going on in new york the twin towers the pentagon but you can only worry about what you can control and he said only worry about what you can control and man when he said that it gave me so much peace because you know we can't control coronavirus we can't control things uh, that outside influences, manipulation, the, the market conditions. Uh, we can't control any of that. The only thing we can control is how we respond to those things. Now you can respond to those things with fear or you can respond to those things with faith. And me and my belief, I believe that we respond with everything with faith because all of the events that are happening have already been prophesied. <laughs> They're just manifest, manifesting themselves. But we know that our faith is still with God. That's all we got, man. That's all I have. So I can run around here worried and, you know, wash my hands every five seconds and make sure I don't touch my face. And, and yeah, I'm gonna do those things, but I'm not gonna consume myself with worry and doubt. I'm gonna consume myself with faith and hope and love. And that's what I'm gonna do to the very end. And I encourage you to do the same thing. Cause I mean, it don't, it don't extend your life, not one minute worrying about all of these things going on, man. I know a lot of people are upset. They just canceled the Houston Rodeo stock show. <laughs> you know, like a lot of the things that we used to doing is, are being interrupted. And we know why they're being interrupted because of the virus and, and you know things like that. But we have to take a second look at ourselves and see what is really important to us. What is really important? Is it, is it that important to go to this basketball game and win a championship?
championship and hold up a gold trophy that's not even really gold? Is it really that important to show our cow that we've been growing up and to show that pretty little cow to the world? Is it more important than people's health? Is it more important than our fellow human beings? Is it more important than love? No, it's not. Whether you agree or not of uh, the action plan that the government or the authorities are putting together with, uh, you know, whether, whether you think they overreacting or not reacting enough, what does it really say about us as people when, you know, trophies and events and things of that nature are more important than the people who actually put them on? So it just, it, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I just throw on the camera and I just start talking and I'm just gonna post it. But that's that's basically where I'm at right now, man. And uh, like I said, yesterday, <laughs> I'm happy I'm still on location. I'm happy I'm still working. Um, I'm blessed. My family is blessed. And uh, we, gonna, we gonna ride this thing out with faith over fear. And uh, I hope y'all do the same thing too. But I am glad that I don't work with no damn body. Boy, I'll tell you what, there's some nasty people out there that don't even wash their hands when they come out of the bathroom. See, that's that, that's the problem with, anyway, I ain't gonna stop.